Hey everybody, Guilty here. I'm feeling a little tongue-tied. I've been trying to record something without a script, and uh, what do you know it, I'm having kind of a hard time with it. Uh, this is going to be episode zero of Ninja Gaiden by the Numbers. So the goal here is to collect and present all the hard data regarding enemy HP values, damage that enemies can inflict, uh, how damage is affected by armor and enhancements, and the kind of damage that Ryu can deal with the different weapons that he has in his arsenal. Now, I, I preface all this by saying episode zero because this is, this is a rough and kind of dirty proof of concept. What we're doing here is we're just going to try a few different things and we're going to see what works for us. So we're going to go ahead and just get into it. Uh, that top number, 63499, that is my essence value. The two values under that, that is Ryu's current HP and his maximum HP. Right now he's sitting pretty at 3,656. If you're familiar with this area at all, you know that we have three Tyron heavies over here. Each of them spawned with 640 health points. And I get freaking nuked right here. I, I, thought, I thought Ryu's health was at 3,600, but somewhere the game was like, nah fam, you have like, 400 HP because that that bayonet stab took me down to like what 290 <laughs> and then you saw how the rest of it transpired as so I'm probably trying to figure out what the fuck just happened all right so for this first demonstration I'm going to slow it down a good bit and it's just to show how the numbers in the table will change as attacks connect so I'm going to try a string of three light attacks xxx the first attack connects, drops the soldier's HP from 640 to 512. That is a difference of 128. Uh, the next light attack also connects and does another 128 damage. And then he blocks the third attack, he breaks my string. So in addition to that table in the corner, which shows in real time the damage that is dealt, uh, I'm also going to put uh, like Final Fantasy style numbers on top of Ryu or the enemies, depending on whoever's getting hurt. I'll have a number pop up, so at a glance you can be like, oh, that attack did 128 damage. Oh, that Ninpo attack did 3,000 damage. Holy shit. This just goes back to calling it episode zero. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna figure out the format and we'll figure out how to better present this to you guys in episode one. I shoot a guy with, uh, <coughs> and I shoot that guy with the spear gun. The initial impact of the spear does 100 damage, and then an extra one damage is dealt when the soldier bounces into the wall. As a matter of fact, is does. Is it the wall? Oh, that's, that does it. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let me go back. Let me go back. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What happened? Holy shit balls. What? Oh, holy shit. I just now am seeing this. Okay, so there's two soldiers here, and I'm going to hit this guy with the spear gun. All right, so the spear gun's going to nail this one motherfucker in the chest. It's going to drop him from 640 to 540 simultaneously. One damage. One damage. Boop, little bit. I thought this was the guy. I thought this was to the same guy, and he suffered an additional one from hitting the wall. No, the guy behind him actually loses one HP because the dude that's getting spear gunned right in front of him flies back in his face. I am just now noticing this. I I thought I thought the damage was being done to the same dude. But uh, hey, if you ever wondered, hey, if an enemy uh, hits another guy, does it do damage to him? Well, yes, there you go, right there. That's really fucking cool. I, I like, like I thought you know hitting the wall would do damage, but uh, that's 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 just fucking awesome. It dawns on me that I wanted to present something that more or less spoke for itself. You don't need me narrating for you. That's the whole reason why I am putting the big Final Fantasy style numbers on top is so you can just watch the video and see for yourself, oh, that Fiend Sealer does 750 damage. Now, because admittedly, I am happy that I captured my reaction to uh, that, that whole spear gun incident. Uh, I'm going to keep watching, watch the rest of this, keep my mic on. 
if you want me, uh, for instance, to explain what the fuck is happening right now on screen with this dude in this grip of murder style aura, um, just blood just squirting out of him everywhere. Um, well, yeah, let me know that as well. All right, so here's where the testing actually begins. I figured, you know what, I can't, for whatever reason, I can't seem to get these guys to, to 50,000 HP. Well, 20,000 is enough, so let's, uh, let's get cracking. Inflict. Firewheel's doing random amounts of damage. And he's just standing there like, yeah, man, you just keep doing your thing. It's for science. Ice storm just being, you know, just being ice storm. Now that was a level two in Azuma, and it did a good bit of damage, while the other Ninpo uh, spells were level one. I seem to have forgotten that these guys like to block. <laughs> So there we go. Now we're starting with the Fiend Sealers. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit. Such a great move. And, yep, Twin Swords don't have a Fiend Sealer. Ah, that's, that's okay. Let's, let's get them back on the ground somehow. <laughs> Now I smack the shit out of him with the lunar. <laughs> and the UF, all right. All right, so yeah, the UF, uh, we're at 23% total HP, so we're only really doing half the potential damage. Whereas here in this clip from NGB, we're at the magic pixel and we're doing the max potential damage, which is a lot. Come on, Ryu. Hop! All right, so now we're getting into the armlets, the ribbons. We're gonna compare regular light attacks done with the equipment on and with the equipment off. And again, I still can't seem to get through my head. These guys like to block. All right, so the conclusion I've drawn regarding the Armlet of the Sun, uh, the Band of Power, it will increase uh, the amount of damage you deal by 15%. Uh, next, we have the Furious Tiger Helm, which decreases attack in favor of defense. So 120 is our baseline. Furious Tiger will drop your attack by 10%. Up next is the White Tiger, and it will reduce your damage output by 20%. The Red Dragon Helm, which increases attack, will bump you up 20%. It's going from 120 to 144. And the uh, Azure Dragon, which greatly increases attack, we're going from 120 to 168. That is an increase of 40%. That is, uh, that is quite the jump. What if we take the Band of Power, the Armlet of the Sun, and we combine it with an enhancement that affects attack? Uh, nothing happens. So the conclusion I draw regarding uh, the combination of armlets and enhancements is whichever one will give you the greatest benefit, that's the one that will apply. The Azure Dragon Helm boosted my attack from a baseline of 120 to 168 points, while the uh, the Armlet of the Sun, the Band of Power, only took me up to 138. That armlet will give me 15% while the Helm gives me 40. So that's the big revelation, is that they're not going to stack in this instance.
It's just going to give you the greatest of the two. Right here, we have the White Tiger Helm, which is supposed to decrease attack, but we also have the uh, Band of Power on the Armlet of the Sun because it gives us plus 15%. Tiger Helm, that'll, that'll drop us 20%. So the, the game is going to ignore the consequence of the White Tiger Helm. My current uh, health value is 3,600. I'm going to allow myself to get shot, and one bullet does 30 damage. And I let that happen just a few more times. And it, there you go. I'm down 90, got shot three times. Well, now I'm going to put the white tiger helm back on. Now I am at 3,447. I get shot once. And remember the baseline of 30 HP? Now it's been reduced to 21. That's 30%. That's so there literally is no disadvantage. There is no reason not to stack enhancements and armlets when they affect the same parameter. All right, so now we're going to do the True Dragon Sword with no buffs, and we're going to test out the Flying Swallow. Uh. We already tested that the Band of Power gives uh, a 15% increase. I'm going to put on the Armor of Speed. That's 974. The Armor of Speed. 30% additional damage for the Flying Swallow. Oh shit! So I just said that enhancements and armlets and shit, they don't stack. Well, that does not apply to the armor of fucking speed. The baseline with the two dragon sword of a flying swallow is 750 damage with the band of power and the armor of speed, which respectively does 15% and 30% extra damage. You can wear the fucking both of them because that was 1,121. That's, oh my God, that is, that's a 50, oh God. That is, a, that is 50%. That is, that is one and a half times damage if you have armor of speed and the band of power on. That is absurd. We'll get the uh, flails out. It's a good kick. So whether you have the flails or you have the nunchaku, you're still kicking with reused foot. It's the same foot, so it's going to do the same amount of damage. So not just the impact of the shuriken or the kunai or whatever, but the explosion also gets the buff. Okay, uh, armor of intelligence. It uh, knocks off 200 HP, but it gives you uh, a key slot in exchange. Uh, we have the Falcon Gauntlet equipped. We're going to see how Ninpo is boosted by the Falcon Gauntlet. Earlier, we noticed that Inferno level 1 did 3,000 damage. All right, so now we're at 5, 7, 6, 7, 8. And then it takes them down to 5, 3, 7, 7, 9. That's 3,899. <coughs> And I have Armlet of the Moon slash Band of Protection on. And I'm go down from 2428 to 2400 even. Now earlier, when we got shot, it, it did 30 damage. So, uh, what the fucky? So Armlet of the Moon is saving me 6.5% damage. Okay, now we're doing UTs. So the timer for the UT is at the very bottom, and then the UT level is the number above that. So we're at UT level two, and the uh, the value that we're recording that tracks the UT timer, well, it maxes out at 177. Hit UT level one at about 86. This is with celerity. Okay, without celerity, 107 to 221. So celerity gives you a 20% uh, uh, faster UT charge, which is measured in frames. Now, I know that wasn't everything. Uh, I would probably need to draft some sort of checklist to make sure that I do not forget a weapon or uh, a projectile or a combination of armlets and enhancements. This gives you an idea of what I've been planning, what I've been wanting to do for a few months now. And uh, it's it's open to you. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, do you just want uh, to, to watch a level or a chapter on uh, normal or hard and have the Final Fantasy? 
fantasy style numbers just pop up on screen. I mean, if you're keeping track of what happens, I won't, I wouldn't cut anything out, you know, so you can see in the menu, you know, what, what armlet is equipped, if anything, what ribbon, what enhancements equipped, if anything, the costumes as well. I didn't even think about the costume buffs that, uh, I mean, I, this doesn't even factor in the Razor's Edge costume. Honestly, I have not tried that yet, so I, I don't even know uh, if that uh, would stack on top of freaking everything else that there is. But yeah, let me know what you think. If you want it quiet, just you, the game, and the numbers, and the data. Uh, yeah, there's that. I understand. If you don't mind my stupid voice, uh, if I'm if I'm recording as I'm playing, uh, well, then it's just, uh, it could be that much funnier. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you, if you've watched me stream, if you've watched any of my playback videos before, uh, yeah, you know how I can get. Scrounging up these numbers, um, presenting this data, it's, I think it's cool. Assuming I can find the time, we're talking all of normal, all of hard, all very hard, all of Master Ninja, maybe fucking all of Ninja Dog. That, that's a tall, that's a tall order now that I think about it, but it's, it's something that people have been uh, asking about for almost 20 years now, and some of us have the means to, uh, to, to gather that data, and who are we to keep that shit to ourselves? I'm, I'm pretty sure I already know the answer, because if you're here, you're more than likely a Ninja Gaiden fan, but uh, if, if you thought this was a good video, uh, go ahead and leave me a like. If you're new to the channel, if you're not subscribed, take a look around, see if I'm worth a subscription. I got a lot of videos, I got a lot of shit. So with that being said, this has been a, a long time coming, but I got a kick out of making this video, and I hope that you enjoyed watching it. I hope there was some information here that you learned. I hope this answered some questions, and I wouldn't be surprised, and I actually am kind of hoping that you might have more questions now that you've watched this. I've been talking for a long time, and the video's been over for a long time, so uh, you know what we say around here? Like, subscribe, go outside. Yeah.